Hello everybody, it's uh, Saturday afternoon, it's a really crappy day, it's cold, there's rain, there's sleet, there's snow, there's ice chunks coming down, so it's a perfect day I think for a robust porter. What I'm going to do is another one from the Big Sky Brewing Company in uh, Missoula, <coughs> Missoula, Montana, I'm going to do Bobo's Robust Porter. Comes in at 6.2% ABV. Check out Bobo. He's this little chihuahua with these really weird bug eyes. This is this is a this is a cool label. I mean, this is really a nice label. A um, little bit from the website and from the bottle. It says, according to Montana legend, deep in the expanse of Bob Marshall Wilderness, there lives a small band of rugged and ferocious chihuahuas. Bobo is the pack's alpha male. And in a word, he is robust. So naturally, we thought he deserved his own delicious, robust porter. A small bottle with big flavor, brewed with six different malts, and generously hopped. Robust doesn't really begin to describe this beer. Smooth chocolate flavors with hints of coffee, caramel, and vanilla. Hop presence is copious and is matched by rich malt flavors. It's a style, robust porter, color super dark, ABV 6.2, IBUs 32. Malt, pale, crystal, chocolate, brown, and brown and black roast. Hops, East Kent Goldings, and Challenger. Got a really cool cap on it, too. Not your typical Big Sky uh, Brewing Company. It looks like a looks like a cow skull or a buffalo skull or something there. So let's get this robust porter in the uh, in the glass and see what we have here. Sounds good, but you know you can never always believe the hype from the uh, uh, from the websites. Um, this is a another one of their uh, limited release. I've had a couple of the others. Uh, the I wasn't so impressed with the Heavy Horse Scotch Ale. Uh, the Cowboy Coffee Porter was stellar. So if this is anything like that uh, Cowboy Coffee Porter, I'm looking forward to it. So I can smell it from here though. Um, it's got an appearance. It's Dark brown, almost black. I don't see any light around the edges at all. Got a nice one finger chocolate brown head. Kind of foamy looking. Some big bubbles, some small bubbles. Good looking, uh, good looking beer. Looks like it might even leave some lacing. Um, let's get a nose on this and see what we have. Okay, I'm getting those malts right up front. It almost, um, it says roasted malts. It's almost a, it's almost a burnt malt, malt smell. Um, I'm getting a little chocolate, a little coffee. Again, like burnt coffee beans, not roasted coffee beans. A little caramel, a little vanilla. Um, nothing new here, but um, it's the usual uh, usual uh, smell. So let's see how they've uh, put them together. Well, that's nice. This is um, again, it's 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 the burnt charred uh, malt and ch and coffee flavor, not not your what you typically get on your roasted. It's it's more heavy to the to the charred and burnt. Um, it's like uh, like one of those brownies right from the right from the uh, from the oven that the edge maybe got a little little overdone. Light dark dark chocolate on it. Um, coffee, mocha, um, but it's like you take that uh, that brownie fresh from the oven and you wash it down with coffee mixed with uh, chocolate milk, and that's pretty much what you got here. It's got a kind of a dry texture, um, almost some mineraliness to it, but it's still. Uh, on the back of the tongue, it's still moist and wet, so it's kind of refreshing, but the mineral in this is almost like iron, uh, a little bit, but uh, it's got a decent smell so far. Um, there's a mild fruitiness, maybe a bit of black cherry. I can get just a, just a hint of some spicy hoppiness in here. 
but this is not a this is not a sweet beer that's for sure this is not a sweet porter so uh, let me sit and let this warm up a bit Damn, back. it's um, been a good back after a while, while so and gray. I've been sipping on this and thinking about it this is a this is a decent porter it's not uh, I don't know what they're trying to make I don't know if they're trying to make a Baltic porter or what you got to take take one more look at that bug-eyed dog with a massive chest that's a that is I love that I love that label um, it's probably the best label I've seen from uh, Big Sky or any company in a while um, almost reminds me of some of those um, laughing dog labels although not quite as bizarre but uh, yeah I'm gonna give this uh, I'm gonna give this a good solid 8.5 out of 10 this is a decent porter if you see it pick it up um, uh, the the charred notes, the burnt notes are a little off-putting or they got a, you know, if it had more of a roasted flavor rather than a charred or burnt flavor, it probably got a, got a higher score, but it's still a, it's still a decent porter. Um, as it warmed up, the, uh, the chocolate and everything uh, sort of went away. This is more, uh, I can get a little on the aroma, but not on the taste. But uh, the the burnt coffee's there. The coffee's there. Um, there's some good vanilla. I don't know. I don't think this had any uh, barrel aging or anything that would add that note. Or even if vanilla was added, it doesn't mention mention vanilla at all. But um, there's a good vanilla vanilla flavor there too. But uh, it's got that dryness. It's it also a little sweeter maybe. Um, this is not like I said you know on the first part of the, the review it's not a sweet porter this is a bitter porter um, it's a decent porter it's a good porter at 6.2 percent um, I think this could you know I could do this as a session beer um, but anyway 8.5 out of 10 uh, for the Bobo's robust porter uh, from Big Sky Brewing Company. If you see it, pick it up. Give it a try. It's a decent porter. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Keep drinking good beer.